just came out of the veterinary office. My mobile phone rang and this American voice said, is that Mrs. Wendy Baldwin? And I said, yes. And she told me who she was, which didn't mean anything to me. She said, well, I've just rung to tell you that uh, you have been awarded the Goldman Environmental Award. Have you heard of it? I said, no, I haven't. I'd never heard of it. And she said, will you accept it? And I was in such shock. I just said, well, yes, thank you very much. With that, there was all this clapping in the background. And I thought, oh, I think I'm happy. they're having me on. This is, a, this is a bit of a fraud, I don't know. This is a, an aerial photograph. This is me there, the house and the hay shed. The Bowmans arrived over in Australia in 1798. When Felix Resources first came, I just said no. I said, because you'll ruin everybody downstream, all the properties that are down here, I said, we'll have to go. Oh, they said, well, yeah, they'll have to go. And I said, well, why? There's no need for that. You've got the underground mine. That's what you want. Well, it was such a weird decision. Yes, the mine could go ahead, but, and the but was me. And I kept thinking, why would you do that? Because it left me dangling in the air, left them dangling in the air. And after a while I thought, well now, if she had said no to the mine, they could have gone straight to the High Court. Whereas, as it is, they can't do a thing. So, I just wish that I was 50 years old and not what I am, but I'd live a lot longer and stay here. <laughs> It was very significant, but I told him, I said, I don't need any more, thank you very much. Oh, but, I said, no, there's no buts. I don't, I don't need any more. Too much money never does anybody any good. Every time you go around a corner, there's, you know, there's another mine, and they keep on wanting an extension to what they're going to do. And what worries us is that now they're getting too close to the, to the creeks and rivers where the aquifers flow into the creeks, to where all the good soil is, where the small farms have been growing all this lovely feed. Um, you've got to have these small places. They're the ones that can keep going when you've got an irrigation licence. Why, when coal is going downhill, why wreck people's business? They've wrecked enough people's businesses now. It's the desecration that has occurred of our lands and our water. It's the pollution that is, is happening, which is affecting animals and, and humans. I mean, there's a dairy at Jerry's Plains where a few years ago, all the calves were coughing in the dairy. I don't believe that this unbelievable greed for money in a hurry is worth completely just wrecking the land and the water for generations to come.